What's up guys, before I get this video started, I wanna let you know that I started a second YouTube channel called CP Sports Cards. I've been collecting sports cards on and off my entire life and I thought it'd be fun to do a channel just dedicated to sports cards collections that I go by, different card shops and card shows that I go to, some of the stuff that I'm buying to sell on and whatnot, just all kinds of fun stuff. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll put a link down below in the description. Morning. Morning, how are you today? Doing well, how about yourself? Pretty good too. Be ready to Would you take an offer on your whole box of basketball cards? We offered me. About 300 bucks. Alright. Who's hot in basketball now? There you go, sir. Uh, LaMelo Ball is pretty hot. John Morant is pretty hot. I sold a bunch of Morant. Did you sell a bunch of Morant? I got some. Jeez. What would you need for this whole box? Huh. I wouldn't have nothing to sell then. <laughs> that's fine. You don't have to sell it all. I just thought I'd ask. Yeah. That's where I am when I go to shows. Like yeah, you got to have inventory. Them uh, burrows, I sell a bunch of them every week. Do you? Yeah. Appreciate you digging them out for me, sir. Thank you. Yeah. How much are your trash cans? Uh, not for sale. Not for sale, okay. How much is your bat? Uh, five bucks. Five bucks. There you go, sir. It was all reds. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Morning. How much is this coin bank right here? Yeah, Bakelite one. Is that Bakelite? Yeah. What are you asking on it? Um, he's got a price on it. He's got $95 on oh, it. Oh, wow, okay. I don't know if he'd come down on the price or not. Okay. It's really cool. It's really, really rare. Is it a dog? I think it's a puppy, I don't know. Puppy, something like that. I know I looked it up on the internet and there was only one. Yeah. And so that's how I know it's rare. <laughs> yeah. Pretty neat. Yeah. A lot of people want it, but. Yeah. I think he traded with my son to get that, but I don't know how much he ended up with in it. But. Really? I'd probably go 50 on it. I don't know if he's willing to do that or not. I'll ask him. He's across the way over here. How you doing? You want it for 50? <laughs> no. Well, I told you I'd ask. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't know what he's got in. About 60 on. Did you do 60? 75? 65? I'll do 65. 65. Appreciate you, sir. You have a good day. Morning. Hey, how are you, man? Good. Is this your booth? It is. Yeah. Where did you find this poster? Oh man, it's a, a buddy of mine brought that in. Yeah? 
1981. He said he couldn't do nothing with it. He said, you mind trying to do something? I said, I'll try it. I don't have a frame for it. I said, I'll put it up and you see if... It's so big. <laughs> it is big. Yeah. It's awesome. It's, it's just awesome, big. Yeah. It's a cool poster. I wish I had the frame for it. What are you asking for it? I think he said he he started at 40, but I, I don't think he's going to get it, man. I think he's being reasonable more at about like 25. Yeah. I mean, if that was in a frame, I mean, it'd be like, I'd tell him like, try 150, 200. Sure, sure, know? yeah. But it's not, so. I'll give you 25 bucks for it. Hey, it's yours, man. All right, let's Take do care. it. Is this whole trash can here um, vintage posters? Um, those are uh, LeBron James. Oh, yeah? Here's the 25 yeah, for the man. big poster. Yeah. Appreciate uh, you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll keep poking around. Yeah, let's get that uh, poster down here. I'm going to have you. Yeah, I can give you a hand if you want. All right, now I'm just going to kind of have you hold that real quick. Yeah, I'm no problem. I'm going to jump over there. Yeah, there's a, a couple tears at the top, but overall it's actually in pretty good it. shape. It I mean, this, shape. this thing's 40 years that. old. Yes, it is. But yeah, yeah it's that's pretty neat. That's what happened, and I tried yeah. to tell him that, but... He wanted it to go up. I was like, well, I'll do what I can. Yeah, I can't sell if it's rolled up, right? Right. Um, you got the Tony Gwynn here and then the Mark Harrison. Uh, Chris Carey. Chris Carey. Yeah, 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 Chris Carey. Would you go 30? Would you go 30 for three? I sure would. Okay. Absolutely, I would. I hope you got that good one out of there. That Which one's the good one? This one here. Oh, it's a that's fungo. A, yeah. That's what threw me off. Yeah, it's a cool bat though. I love finding old bats. Me too. This is a nice one. I like it. I've had these, you know, and I've, I've been trying to get rid of them. And, you know, it just takes the right person it to does. come it along. Takes, yep, being patient. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. Morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Doing well. How about yourself? What are you asking for your little mouse? How about two bucks? Okay. There you go. Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. You have a good day. You too. Yeah. <laughs> good, man. How you doing? Yeah. What's your name? Adam. Adam, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm going to do the film with the concert t-shirt. Oh, nice, man. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. You do pretty well here? Um, Hit or mess. Yeah, we're getting maybe more busy season now. Yeah, this is going to be warming I up. I watch you all the time. Uh, you and Lonnie, and then uh, I try to tell him to watch Daily Refinement. I like oh, yeah. Chris's stuff. Too, yeah. But, well, I'll go check out your booth. Okay, sounds good. You got a great booth set up. Thanks. How long have you been here? Uh, since really January. So January, okay. I've been selling online for a couple of years. I do mostly media. Well, so, hey, it was a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, you as well. Good luck to you. All right. All right, guys, I am back at the shop. This morning, I went to the Caesar Creek Flea Market. I have not been there in years. I typically always go to, like, Trader's World or Treasure Isles because they're both kind of, you know, close to one another. But Caesar Creek really isn't that far from me, so I thought I'd go and check it out, and I'm glad I did. I found a bunch of cool stuff, got it all pulled out. I'm going to show you guys what I found. I got this huge poster from 1981. Um, I'm not going to unroll it, but I'll put a screenshot up. I'm sure you guys already saw it. It's um, 7 Up, and it's got, like, John McEnroe. Magic Johnson, Earl Campbell, Larry Bird, just a bunch of awesome athletes from the 80s. So I had to pick that up for 25. I am tempted to keep it. I just don't know where to put it, but it is really neat. Uh, even if I don't keep it, I'm sure it's got some decent value. I've done really well selling vintage sports posters. I grabbed some bats. This one right here is an East End Connection Z Core. It's a little bit older. It's probably, I don't know, 15, 20 years old. It's definitely got some age to it. But it was only five bucks, and these sell anywhere from like 30 to 50 bucks on eBay. So I had to pick that up. The three wood ones I got all from the same spot, uh, same guy I got the poster from, and I paid 30 for the three. Reason I bought them is because this one and this one I've never seen before. So this right here says SW Manufacturing Big Boy Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, it's pretty beat up, but it's very old. Uh, this one right here is a uh, baseball bat by Seaway. And then it says Slugger Bat. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this is this is very rare. Doesn't mean this is valuable, but this is definitely a rare bat. It's skinny all the way down, and then it's like a normal size at the end. They call those fungos. 
basically these were um, used by coaches and still used by coaches today to like hit pop-ups. Uh, it's just easier to hit pop-ups with these when you're doing practice uh, with your team. So this is an old Louisville Slugger, 125, and uh, it's a fungo. So really neat bat. I'm going to get on the Louisville Slugger website. They actually have different guides for you that you can look up the stamp and it'll tell you what date range the bat was made based on the stamp. So I got to look up and figure out exactly how old that one is. I couldn't find values on eBay on any three of the wood bats. Um, that's how rare they are. That doesn't mean they're valuable necessarily, um, but I've dealt with a lot of wood bats. There's a lot of collectors for them. So I went ahead and just picked those up. Got this little Hot Wheels mouse for $2. It is um, kind of coming loose right here a little bit. So I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not, but I figured I'd take a chance. Uh, same one sold on eBay for $30. This might be my coolest find of the day. This is an old Bakelite coin bank in pretty decent shape for its age. They were asking $95. Uh, I think I offered like $50 and we settled on $65. Bucks. And the same one sold on eBay for $145 plus shipping. I made a huge card buy at one sale. You guys know I've been selling a lot of cards on whatnot, and I've been kind of running low on basketball, and this guy had a whole box of basketball, so I'm like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and scoop these up. We got Jordans, some Kobe's, more Jordans, LeBron. I mean, there's a ton of cards in here. Probably, I'd say at least six or 700. There's definitely a lot of them. I don't think there's anything of huge value in here. Uh, mostly, you know, dollar, two dollar, three dollar cards, that kind of thing. But I made him an offer of three hundred bucks, and he took it. So I'm happy to pick those up. If you guys want to see me go through all these cards, I'll do a video on my card channel, going through each and every one of these. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.